Hi everyone, this is Arun Reddy here. Welcome to my YouTube channel Arun Reddy Tech for you. And in this video, we are going to see how to write a Python program. So friends, if you are watching my video first time and if you want to learn Python, you can go through my channel playlist. In playlist, you can find folder called Python. So their remaining videos are available. And if you don't want to miss my video, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like and share my videos. Coming to the topic. Okay, so how to write a Python program? Okay, so to write a Python program, I required IDE. So what is IDE? Integrated Development Environment. You can see here, IDE, Integrated Development Environment. So why do you require a IDE means uh, where we required a platform to uh, check the errors, right? And a debug, okay? So where we can write the code, okay? Where it can do automation, right? So that's why we required a IDE. So there are a lot of IDEs, okay? So let us see some of the important IDEs, okay? They are like Python IDE, LE. Python, PyCharm, okay, Anaconda, Jupyter. So these are the some of the important IDs. There are a lot of IDs. Okay, you can choose any one. Okay, so which one do I choose means, uh, of course, I will choose Python ideally. Why? Because it will come by default. I doesn't need to again uh, go and, in, um, what do you say? Again, I doesn't need to uh, install separate ID. ID so Python ideally will come by default when you install a Python ID Python automatically by default it will come right so do we have any modes in the Python yes we have two modes one is interactive mode which is temporary mode second one is a script mode okay so what is the difference between the two modes means in interactive mode suppose if you write a program and if you close the uh, Python and if you open again it will be gone Okay, it will be a temporary, but script mode, what happens? It will be saved permanently. Okay, after uh, closing again, if you open and you can also run the program. Okay, so to script mode, we will save with a file name dot py. Okay, just like C language dot C, C++ dot cpp, we will save uh, file name with the dot py. Okay, so py is the extension for the Python, right? Okay, so let us see how we can run the program. Let me go to the Python ideally. Okay, so let me go back to the desktop okay right so let me go to the search button i will type ideally so in the last video already we have seen how to download and install the python right so let us see how we can run program in the python ideally okay so this is ideally right okay now suppose if i want to uh, print z okay z is equal to let us assume z is equal to 10 plus uh, 15 let us assume 10 plus 15 okay so 10 plus 15 or 10 plus 20 okay so it will be a 30 right okay so that is equal to 10 plus 20 30 so what i will do i'll just say uh, print z so automatically it should print uh, 30 right so let us see right nice i got the right answer so this is a uh, interactive mode which is a temporary once i close the system and i open this will go it will not be saved okay so suppose if you want to save the program which you write you can go to the file okay here is a file right in the file you click on new okay new file so this is a script mode okay where we write the program and uh, we can save with the extension dot py okay so we will save it as in a doc dot py okay so you can use both the modes suppose if you are doing a temporary then you can use direct interactive mode but if you want to save your program then you have to go with the script mode so let us see the same program i am going to write z is equal to 10 plus 20 okay and uh, next print print z okay right so now i will save this one so to save go to the file and uh, save or you can also say control s okay wherever you want you can save for temporary i will save on the desktop okay so i will give file name as a um, add add because it's addition program add dot py okay so once i save py automatically it will be saved in the python format okay so which is extension of py is extension of python so let me save this one right okay so now let me run here you can see run okay or you can also use a f5 shortcut key okay so let me run run module click here see see i got the same answer nice right so uh, now i can open this and uh, i will close the script right okay now i got the same answer so now 
you have seen this is the interactive mode which is temporary and with this is the permanent okay so let us do one thing let us close the program and uh, let us check once whether uh, if i say print z it will print or not or shall i go to the program and run the program right so let us check the two modes again to quit i can use shortcut key control control uh, q or i can say exit here in the file okay let me exit this one right now again i will just go to the button and here i will type as id id le right okay let me open right <clears throat> so yes okay now let us say print uh, z okay so print z see what it is saying okay so it didn't find any called z okay so now let us open the file which we have uh, or let us open the same file which we have done right so where i have saved desktop i will go to the desktop okay so desktop i have given name as a add see add let me open okay all right now let me run the program run mode and uh, you can see 30 right so this is a different between a uh, interactive mode and script mode so friends keep practicing thank you